So I wanted to touch on on two things uh, before we finish up. So uh, firstly, I wanted to ask what the current status of the investigation is. The current status of the investigation is that every year for the last couple of years, um, the Met has asked for a small tranche of money, 150,000 uh, pounds to cover you know, six months of work or three months of work. And uh, they have scaled back their team from about 30 officers to only three or four. They have said repeatedly that they are pursuing a line of inquiry uh, that they want to finish before they conclude their investigation. They, they have a line of inquiry that they think important enough to continue to want to pursue. The money always seems to run out in March and in September, uh, and they have just requested um, funding for a full year. Now, that's interesting. Um, it's interesting to us, and, and this is, can only be conjecture. One would imagine they wouldn't be doing that unless they thought, A, that it was completable in that amount of time, or that they had something that they thought was important enough but perhaps a little bit more complex than they originally had forecast it would be that they really needed to work on for that time. So, so one wonders the, the investigation is continuing. It remains an open investigation in Portugal as well. But as of this moment, we're in a, a, a rather in a, a bit of a news vacuum. How about, the, uh, how about the, um, the McCann's private investigation? Is that obviously they will still be, doing things themselves, but... My about? impression, and it can only be an impression, um, we have not been involved with the McCanns personally, person to person, for some time now, for a matter of years. Um, but we, 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 we had the impression that even then, as soon as Scotland Yard took over the case in England, and then the, the Portuguese who had shelved the case up to then got back in, to the investigation themselves, liaising amicably at that point uh, with Scotland Yard, um, that the McCanns, who had previously used private investigators to to, to dig all over the all over Europe and further and beyond, um, that they seized and left it to the police, which was only right. You can't have cops and private detectives all going at things, um, hammer and tongs at, at the same time. Um, my impression is that they are now waiting, being briefed by Scotland Yard when it is relevant to brief them and trying to get on with their lives. A very difficult task because they are still pursued venomously by the, by the internet trolls. So this touches Who are upon still spreading, spreading poison about their supposed involvement in the death of their own daughter. Which, this, I don't think we've had a, had a moment to stress it. And if we are um, soon to complete this conversation, we should, we would like to stress the, the, the fact that in all the work we've done on this case, we never found an iota of an indication that the McCanns had in any way been guiltily involved in their daughter's disappearance. <laughs>